On to race uh, number three and the third on the programme. We move upper class here, class four, 2,200 metres, though, for the third event, which is the first leg of the six up as well. Happy Rocky, who's course and distance winner back in February. Cloud nine will roll forward from barrier nine. Japons, all three of his wins have been at Sharp 10. Audacity, well, he's in good form. He's won two of his last three. Play it, tries the course and distance for the first time. And down to Megatron. Uh, it goes up in class after that dominant performance over the 1,800 metres last time was a very good performance, Andrew. He just kept running along at strong sectionals for the entire. And there's every chance he'll find the front again. Cloud Nine's probably going to provide the most opposition for that top spot, but he can be a little uh, scratchy from the gates from time to time. Audacity won't want to leave, but he'll be handy. And Art of Raw kicks up. And obviously, um, King Bountiful will probably be a little slow to get moving, but the longer trip is much better for him. Yeah, 2,200 metres down his alley. Here's a Japonce with uh, Chad Schofield aboard. He's the one closest to us. He's had a great season, this horse. He's been going uh, very well recently. And uh, he's been up for a long time. And he's, he's a multiple winner this season. Uh, Audacity, we're looking at here. He's the grey at the back. He's just moving nicely here. Another one that the distance will be perfect, ideal for him. Having won over 2,000 metres last start. A very fit horse. And uh, he's just doing what he has to do at the back there. And uh, play it. A third one. Another one who would like, seems to like the distance. Being by Paco Boy, who won the English Derby, Paco Boy, didn't he? No, he was... Uh, he was Sprinter Miler, Paco Boy. Was he? Yeah. What's the one what I'm think? thinking of? Well, Paul Moore, he's the one that won the, he derby. won the Derby. Yeah, yeah. He did too. <laughs> Paco Boy. Sprinter yeah. Miler, right? Sprinter Miler, very okay. good one as well, of Richard uh, Hannans. All right, well, let's uh, start off with uh, King Bountiful. He's um, got his own ideas about the games, hasn't he? King Bountiful, but when he's good, he's pretty good, and this trip should suit him. Yeah, that's the, that's the key, isn't it? It's just... He's just, he normally he's been losing these races at the start, but once um, if, if he if he jumps anywhere near them, I think he'll win the race. I'm not sure it's actually a case of jumping either. It's just a case of being able to muster. He just takes time to get moving. It's um, we've seen him recently, sort of you know five lengths off the second last horse. He steps. He's not 100 percent out of the gates, but he just takes a while to get moving. And then obviously when they get halfway and he's like he starts to feel himself and he gets going. That's why the 2200 is perfect for him, because it gives him that opportunity to uh, bridge the gap with further distance. Mm, all right, so uh, Audacity and Japon's also in good heart as well. Play it we were just uh, talking about. Uh, let's have a look at him in action here, along with, with Happy Rocky, who's not the easiest one to catch either. No, the distance is good for Happy Rocky. He's a real star. And play it as well, as I mentioned, he's got that pedigree on the dam side uh, through Sadler's Wells. Uh, I know <laughs> yes. he's a real star. <laughs> got there in the end with Play it. Um, and look, the way he races, he does look like a star. Was what's probably the, the point I was making anyway, and you can see he hit the line very strongly here for fifth. So 2,200 metres won't be a problem for him. He's been costly player, but he can gallop. He needs yeah. everything to fall his way, and this race might end up falling his way. I, I found it difficult to left, leave him out. I've snuck him in. All right, okay. And uh, Megatron, uh, we've already seen this. We're looking at the, the horses finishing it behind him, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But um, this was a, a master performance from horse and jockey. Moreira just was off and gone. Yeah, Ricky, you gave him a little freshen up before he uh, contested class five this season. He ran fourth behind fine with me, got out of the gates awkwardly on that occasion, but he led clearly here. And Moreira kept a solid tempo. 149.75 was the time, which is reasonable. For that grade, he'll run strongly again on the lead. He'll probably be overhauled by the uh, potential better class horses, but I wouldn't be surprised if he ran a very cheeky race and possibly even snuck over again. Yeah, he had a great ride from Jay Marrera there. He's jumped off, though. He's gone on to King Bountiful, hasn't he? But uh, he rode it perfectly, and he, the horse won accordingly. Yeah, and King Bountiful is our favourite. Jack Wong will take five pounds off uh, Megatron. So mm. where are you looking for? Uh, with King Bountiful, I was sort of... I liked him his last couple of starts, and uh, he's sort of missed the start. He's run on 2,200 metres, looks ideal for him. Chapons has had a great season, he, and he's a real star, this horse. He's only had limited starts at Happy Valley. I think he can run well uh, from his low barrier draw. He's drawn two. Audacity in there for third, and uh, play it for fourth. So five, three, six, and seven with the uh, QQP is the way to go. Yep, I've gone five and six. King Bountiful from Audacity. Audacity's in great form and he will have the jump on King Bountiful. So it could easily go the other way. And I do think Megatron, left alone, can run strong sectionals and really give some cheek. So I think the winner will come from those three. Play it wants a strong tempo to find the line strongly, but his form's hit miss. 5, 6, 10, 7. I think the QQP, 5, 6, 10 for me. Yeah, I've got very similar numbers. The, 
the one that I've just thrown in at a decent price there, $15, Art of Raw, gets up to the 2,200 metres for the first time. He's got barrier one as well. He's shown a little bit of pace in the past. Mm. Um, last start was... Um, we just got to look past that at Chartin. The start before wasn't too bad. That was over the 1650. I think the distance is a real positive for him, but he does have to lift, so he uh, could be one to sneak in a bit of a price. He needs about six miles, doesn't he, and a couple of jumps. <laughs> <laughs> He might do, but he's got 2,200 metres around Happy Valley on, uh, on Wednesday night. So, um, That's a yeah, positive. So, <laughs> That's a, a positive. positive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you very much. But, uh, <laughs> again, the, uh, the first event uh, look clear-cut with the next two. That's the first leg of the six-up as well. It's a tricky one to kick things off, race number three. All right, we're going to take a short break. No jackpot in the six-up, no jackpot in the TT, but that's where we look uh, next with the first leg.